boy. So what's this? What could this big box on the table be? Well, as I already said, this is the Razor Blade 15. Brand new, their latest model. And it's going to be the 1060 GTX graphic card with the 1080p by 1920 screen. So that's the FHD. Uh, we also got 512 gigabytes of SSD storage on this model. And the 144 hertz refresh rate so let's open this bad boy up now this will be the first time i actually ever use a razor product so i'm very very excited to see what this experience is going to be like as well as how it performs in the creative environment that's a big reason why i'm getting it due to just the raw the hardware in this computer is is unbelievable as well as the the expandability that's also very very enticing and a big reason behind why i made this purchase so here we go guys i don't know if you can see that but got some bubble wrap in there fun stuff doesn't pop very easily i think <clears throat> This is awesome. This is their protective sleeve. This is about $44. It's a neoprene and I think it's also leather, synthetic leather though. So this will be super dope. We'll get into this later though. <clears throat> More bubble wrap. And the laptop box itself. Here's the actual laptop box, black. You got all the brand specs right here, Thunderbolt, Air HDMI, Dolby. So we're gonna have a decent speaker system here because we're talking Dolby. So that's awesome. Uh, let's open it up. The box itself, this black box, it's pretty heavy, actually. So I think that might just be because of all the packaging that's that's inside this. But uh, we will soon find out. Welcome to the cult of Razor. Interesting. Very interesting. So we'll just uh, pull this boy out. This looks like it's the power brick box. Hefty, hefty box. Uh, actually pretty heavy. I would say maybe almost 10 pounds. Eh, no, not 10 pounds. Probably closer to like five or six. Some foam. And here we go, here we go. I'm gonna set this over here, guys. Check this out. Look at that. Woo, Ooh, that's green. That's green, I'm also upside down. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Woo! That is bright, that is bright. Flip this over. There's the box itself. Look at that beautiful Razor logo. Box has an amazing texture to it. It's almost this, uh... hmm, how do you describe this? It's, uh, it's a matte finish, but it's got, little perforations in it. It feels smooth. Ah, it, it's great. It's, it's great. It's, a, it's amazing, guys. Amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful box. Simple, clean, minimalist, great overall aesthetic. All right, guys. This is the, this is the big moment. This is the big reveal. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. But they even give you that padding. This packaging is superb. Never seen anything like this. It's beautiful. Little uh, information card here. Probably not too important. It's got the Razor phone number. Yeah, basic stuff. It's all good. So, here we go. Taking it out. This is the, uh, this is it. This is the definitely the moment. Little pull tab. Flip it right out of the box. Take this packaging right off. Here we go. There she is, the Razor Blade 15. 
extremely thin, lots of ports. You got your Thunderbolt 3 HDM, HDMI here, standard USB, MIDI display, uh, keystone lock there. Uh, your power, your power is here. Two more standard H, uh, two more standard USB ports, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The one thing I wish this this laptop had that it does not have, unfortunately, SD card. I really think that they they could have put that in there, but uh, win some, you lose some. So it's all good. We'll buy a we'll buy a dongle and an adapter for that. The laptop itself is is incredibly thin. I mean. You can see here that it, it looks thin, but uh, just for the sake of, of trying to show you in a more effective manner, I'll grab it, take my hands off. It's about that thin. So that's extremely, extremely impressive. So the footprint's not bad at all. I mean, it, it's got a great footprint. It's honestly about the same size as my laptop right now, actually, which is amazing because the one I have now is uh, only a 14 inch so oh I wish you guys could hear that but I don't have the best mic set up but just lifting the lid on this is amazing you know they said this was a fingerprint magnet I mean yes and no I mean it's getting some fingerprints on it but it's it's not bad actually not bad at all might just be because I have really clean hands right now. So we'll see how that, that goes in the future. Here we go. Opening that up. Get rid of these placemats. I thought they looked cool, but I think they're lame actually. So we'll stick with one for now. Look at that. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. That is beautiful. That is is absolutely stunning. Uh, again, for those of you who don't already know or can't tell, this is an aluminum uh, an aluminum casing on this, and it is very very high quality. Very very beautiful. Solid build. Ooh, that trackpad. Wow. Wow. That. That is, that is nifty. Speaker grills, wow, those, the speaker grills actually feel really cool. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see what else is in the box real quick and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there. <clears throat> Got some instructions right here. Again, Razor logo, matte, uh, matte envelope, all very fancy, high quality stuff. So let's see what we got in here. <clears throat> some razor stickers good stuff cleaning cloth that's awesome uh, some general information this looks like a user manual right here and a letter from razor congratulations there's no turning back everyone knows that it's not just brute force that wins battles da, 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 da. Uh, okay cool very standard packaging stuff there. Okay, back to the laptop itself now. Again, let's, let's do that again. That is never gonna get old. Just go, oh, it even has, it looks like it has a magnetic clip actually. So when you, when you lift it off, there's a little bit of pull. That, that's cool. And every time you lift this up, guys, just sturdy. Look at that. That is amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, standard keyboard. Low travel, but not as, as low as the Mac, actually, which is awesome because, frankly, I'm not a big fan of the uh, of the Mac's keyboard, the MacBook Pro. So this is, this is a, I think, a happy medium between this a mechanical keyboard and and your MacBook Pro keyboard. I mean, obviously with mechanical keyboard, you're going to get a lot more travel, but I think that this is perfect. I really enjoy too how they've just rounded the the edges 
of the keys just slightly. That's a beautiful aesthetic addition right there, but also just I think it ergonomically has some effects that allow the keys to feel better. So as is the trend with all other 2018 flagship laptops, big trackpad, which is, I've heard good things about the trackpad on this, on this laptop. Uh, unfortunately, this, this power button here, no biometrics. Honestly, I don't care about that. I don't see, just type in your password. It's not that big of a deal. So yeah, let's turn it on. Let's see how she, how she looks. <clears throat> here we go. Chroma keyboard lights right up, all green. Razer logo. Uh, you know, they say these have a little bit of light bleed. It definitely has a little bit of light bleed, but uh, nowhere to where I'm overly concerned with it, frankly. It's a lot better than my, my previous, <laughs> sorry, it's not a lot better, it's light years better than the light bleed on my previous laptop. So that's exciting to see. So here we go, we're booting her up. You can see all these beautiful keys, shifting colors. Uh, if you don't already know, if you don't know about Razer, you don't know, one of their big staples is this Chroma keyboard that changes colors. You can map a different color to each individual key. So one thing that people like to do that has that been an issue for people is that when it's dark, because the keyboard's not necessarily backlit, it's each key that's lit, it can be difficult to see these function keys up here, so your brightness, uh, your sound, your pause play, all those things can be difficult to see in the dark. So what people like to do is they like to map colors to these keys. So maybe I'll make my, my, my brightness keys red and my volume keys blue. That way when it's dark, I know, okay, red is for, for brightness, blue is for uh, for sound. So, booting up here, it's getting ready. I don't know if this is gonna take horribly long time as this is the first time we're getting her booted up, but uh, we'll find out. Here we go, guys, just installing Windows now. Keyboard is, that keyboard is unbelievable. It, you know, I wasn't thinking that it was gonna be the most amazing thing ever when I when I first got it. But uh, now that I've now that I've ha had a chance to experience and see it firsthand, very cool. I'm gonna get set up here. I actually, you know what? This screen is beautiful. It is beautiful. I was really concerned actually about the matte display versus the glossy display. A uh, little bit about the 4K, but frankly, a lot of people who are going to be consuming your content, in my opinion, aren't even using 4K screens yet. So while they're nice and can be beneficial to your creative process, I think you can be doing just fine with a with a full HD display. Uh, this display is pretty bright, and the colors on it really pop, so that's very encouraging. There you have it guys, she's all turned on, all set up, good to go. This display is incredible. It is incredible guys. Could not ask for, for anything better. This is a beast. And so far, the onboarding process, actually let's real quick talk about the onboarding process. The onboarding process for this was amazing. Cortana comes right on, she talks to you, she walks you through each step. Uh, you can use your voice to actually go through the onboarding process, which is amazing, amazing. And frankly, this is the best user experience I have ever had with a laptop. Uh, other than that, let's real quick look at the, the, the protective sleeve I bought as well as, as well as this power brick. Uh, and if I didn't already point it out, you got your Razer logo right here, their standard green. You know, I wasn't really sure that I was gonna like it at first, but it's it's starting to grow on me. It's actually got a really interesting texture as well. It's a little bit rubbery, which is pretty neat. Uh, down here, if you can see that, it's right there. Give your uh, 
indicator light telling you whether your laptop's on or not, if it's in sleep. So that's super awesome. And that fingerprint magnet thing, it's uh, starting to rain true. So maybe I'll get a skin for it. Uh, maybe I'll just cover it in stickers. I don't know. We'll have to see. So real quick. Oh, one thing I didn't mention either is these rubber feet stick off the uh, table pretty highly. That is so that their new vaporwave cooling system can effectively grab enough air to, to cool the computer in, in more intense conditions. So that is that. Let's check out the power brick here. I've heard mixed reviews about the power brick in that the way it's set up is a little interesting, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Again, another great, another great uh, experience here. This is probably the cable right here in this in this box, I'm guessing, or one of them. Not exactly sure what this is. Yep, that's your uh, wall plug right there. Very heavy duty looking. Oh yeah. That is, that is nice. Look at that. Looks like some vulcanized, yeah, this is beautiful. Maybe some vulcanized rubber on this. This is, uh, this is great. This is a real good plug, guys. Actually, this is real small, too, right here, which is really awesome. So, that's exciting to see. And, of course, the power brick. This, actually, freaking, this is a tank. This is a tank, but that's what you get when you have, I think it's an 80 watt battery in there, or 800 watt. But this thing, some awesome cable management right here. Every company, in my opinion, needs to be sending out cable management like this. That is phenomenal. That is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Dell, Apple, take note, please. So we'll undo this power cable right here. Yes, this is, uh, the only thing I'm worried about with this is, is that over time it's going to wear out uh, and you, it's just going to crack and, and fall off. But I think it'll last for as long as anybody really needs it to. And then, wow, that is a power brick right there. You got your Razer logo on it. It's pretty slender, actually. It's not too bad. It's not too thick. But it's it's definitely heavy, actually. It's It's got some weight to it. Honestly, I feel like I could knock somebody out with this. So the thing about this power brick that people were complaining about was this L bracket right here. You know what? Make do with it. Uh, yes, it, it's going to be a little irritating, but uh, I think the big reason behind doing that was so that you, you're you not getting all this tension moving left and right or up and down with like you would get on a normal cord, which I think is going to increase the the length of this cord, meaning that this, that this cord... I'm not going to have to buy a new battery <clears throat> or a new charger for this computer for, for quite some time. And, and this is a braided cord, so extremely high quality. Uh, proprietary power plug, so it looks like a USB-C, but it's not. So be aware of that. Uh, that's going to probably be... You know, I'm sure they did this for, for a good reason, but... In the future, I can see that replacing this cord is going to be a little difficult. So, might be a good idea if you're somebody who loses your power brick, loses your cords, or somehow uh, ruins their cords quickly to, to order another uh, another power brick and, and charging system soon. But uh, other than that, hefty, high quality premium build. Again, heavy power brick. In fact, I would say the power brick and computer might almost be the same weight. But uh, either way, it's it's a great it's a great setup. More boxes. And the protective sleeve. I feel like if you're gonna make a purchase like this, it's worth it to, to get a little protective sleeve for the laptop. Here it is. It's uh not a, anything too fancy, neoprene. Uh, smells really good, actually. Uh, and this is just to, to protect the laptop, you know, keep it from getting dinged up, uh, give it a little extra padding. It's kind of big, but uh, it's 
It's got a nice feel to it, and I think it'll do the job that it's intended to do real well. So that concludes this portion of my unboxing and review. Thanks for, for bearing with me if you made it this far.